The Amazing Metamorphosis, Second Edition. A photo essay of the life cycle of the amazing butterfly, a James Norman Price production. The queen butterfly visits the milkweed for nectar and to lay her eggs. The eggs are pearly, oblong in shape, and have longitudinal ridges. The queen caterpillar grows to about two inches in length and has a distinct pattern of black, yellow, and white rings. The queen caterpillar also boasts three pairs of tubercles. Those are the fleshy filament-like projections on top. Since the queen and the monarch butterfly share the same milkweed host plant, this extra set of tubercles is an easy way to tell the difference between the queen and her cousin, the monarch caterpillar. Caterpillars can increase to 27,000 times their original size in a very short time and they will shed their skin called an instar five times during this rapid growth period. These caterpillars are voracious eating machines. Just a few of them can completely strip the leaves off of a four foot tall milkweed plant in less than a day while leaving a trail of milkweed droppings behind. After it has had its fill of milkweed leaves and grown to its necessary size, the caterpillar finds a nice safe spot to begin its final instar and transformation to a chrysalis. The caterpillar spins a safety belt to hold itself upside down and positions itself in a J formation in preparation for this process. The caterpillar remains in this inverted position for one to two days. Time will vary with temperature and weather conditions. As the caterpillar approaches the time when it will become a chrysalis, it will begin to lose its luster and the tubercles will wither and droop. The final instar is when the chrysalis begins forming. It will begin forming on the lower bottom of the caterpillar just above its primary tubercles. The chrysalis begins forming from the bottom of the caterpillar and works its way to the top. As the chrysalis develops, the eyes and the tubercles along with the outer skin are pushed upward. The caterpillar's final instar is almost complete and is shedding its skin for the last time. As the chrysalis forms, it twists and turns on its secure silk support. Notice how the head and tubercles and the outer body have already been pushed to the top of the chrysalis. It is very important for the new forming chrysalis to turn and twist during this final transformation because all the remnants of its former self must be removed from its new shape to ensure that a well-formed adult butterfly will emerge in a few days. Notice that the caterpillar's head and body that are no longer needed have been discarded and have fallen from the chrysalis. Now the amazing part. Inside this chrysalis, the caterpillar's body liquefies. 
as it completely reassembles itself before making its debut as a butterfly. Notice in these photos and on the following slide that the faint formation of wings that have already begun to form inside this chrysalis. The chrysalis stops its gyrations and the transformation becomes more subtle. The outline and formation of the wings is very evident now. The chrysalis is a beautiful emerald green with gold dots ringing the top. The chrysalis will remain in this form for six to ten days. It will continue to have more pronounced gold accents as it darkens in color. By the 10th to 12th day, the chrysalis turns transparent. This is a sign that the butterfly is about to emerge. The average monarch chrysalis is approximately 2.5 centimeters or a one inch long. It takes less than a minute for the fledgling monarch butterfly to completely remove itself from its old environment. The butterfly pushes open the old chrysalis shell with its legs. Emerging head first and straight down from its old home. The butterfly emerges with tiny wings and a huge fluid-filled abdomen. As the new butterfly hangs on to its old home, it begins pumping abdominal fluid through the veins in its wings. The veins that carry fluid from the abdomen to the wings are visible in this photograph. After the wings have fully extended, these veins will harden and become the support structure for flight. During this time, the butterfly has no defenses and has no way to protect itself. As the fluid flows from the abdomen, it fills and enlarges the wings. The wings are soft and damp as the butterfly waits for this process to evolve. The eyes and proboscis, the curled feeding tube, are visible in this close-up photograph of this fuzzy-headed monarch. Now that the wings have developed, the butterfly waits for them to dry. The wings have dried and the new fully adult butterfly flutters its wings and practices the motions of flight. Flight is new to this butterfly and it flutters about sporadically searching for an appropriate place to stop to rest its new wings and gather the needed strength and energy for its new life. The metamorphosis is now complete.
Just as one butterfly generation is completed, a new one begins again. The cycle begins when the butterflies mate to fertilize the female's eggs. The female lays her eggs on the milkweed plant and the eggs hatch into caterpillars. The caterpillar eats the milkweed leaves, grows large, and turns into a chrysalis. The adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis and the cycle begins again. The presentation of the caterpillar as it became a chrysalis was represented in photographs of the queen caterpillar. The presentation of the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis was represented in photographs of the monarch butterfly. Interested in attracting your own butterflies? Here's a good place to start. Gardening for Florida's Butterflies by Pamela Trass. It's a great book to get started with and to build your butterfly garden. This is the book that the author used to build his garden and later take photographs of the butterflies. Two excellent resources in the Fort Myers area for plants and butterfly gardening are the all-native Garden Center and Bayshore Garden Center. They have great plants and they're knowledgeable people. This complimentary PowerPoint presentation was photographed and produced by James Norman Price, photographer, videographer. His email address is curator at crookedgarden.com. Visit the Crooked Garden website. The 17,345 square foot butterfly garden at Pelican Preserve, located in beautiful Fort Myers, Florida. Navigate the pages to view plant lists and plant photographs and butterfly photographs and learn about these amazing insects. CrookedGarden.com